Hey, it's Peter Beatty, and welcome to episode nine of the Video Revolver podcast. Today's episode is going to be a little bit different, mainly because of the guests that we have on the show. Now, usually we talk, you know, strictly about video marketing here on the on the Video Revolver podcast, um, but today's guest is uh, someone who really is not directly involved in the video marketing business or even the local marketing business for that matter. Uh, Ali, Ali G is our guest today and he actually created a piece of software that has kind of piqued my interest so I wanted to bring him on the show to basically have him explain how it works and how it could possibly help uh, uh, help other local marketers and video marketers sell their products and services. So he's got a piece of software that will actually go through Facebook and Google Plus and I believe another website uh, you have to listen to the interview and have him explain it best, but it'll actually go through these websites and it'll actually scrape, scrape contact details of people, you know, uh, depending on a specific keyword or niche that you're looking for. So uh, just to just to explain it a little bit better, if I was to go into Facebook and type something like with his software, need video marketing services, his software will actually go through Facebook. It will scrape Facebook and find people who are actually uh, looking for video marketing services who people who have actually typed that somewhere on their Facebook wall or publicly and stuff like that so I can see the huge potential here um, as far as how the software could help out video marketers selling their services and, and stuff like that so this is why I had Ali on this on the show and um, just before we go ahead and get started I want to say if you're listening to this on iTunes or some other place other than my website videorevolver.com I just want to say make sure you head on over to my website videorevolver.com and sign up for email updates to make sure that you do not miss any future podcasts or emails that I send out. I also do videos um, whenever I can and I put those out and I also release awesome video training courses on various aspects of video marketing. So make sure you check out videorevolver.com and sign up for email updates. Uh, the next thing I want to say before we get started is I just released a brand new trading course called 30 minute web commercials now this is a course that um, teaches how to go about creating and selling simple 60 to 90 second web commercial style videos to other business owners this is a topic that I've received a lot of requests about so I've decided to create this course and show how I do it I just launched this yesterday I'm actually shooting this interview on April 19th 2013 and I just launched this yesterday on the 18th. Now, just like all my other trainings here on VideoVolver.com, I like to release them. I kind of like I kind of like to release them as like a little pre-launch special, and I'll usually release them on somewhere like the Warrior Forum as a Warrior special offer for a much lower price than what they'll be selling eventually um, directly from my website. Um, not to say that my courses aren't worth the price I ask. I'm just saying that to get things going, I like to to release them for uh, a much lower price to give everyone, like my cut my uh, existing customers and subscribers, a good deal on my product. So make sure you head on over to videorevolver.com forward slash thirty min. That's videorevolver.com forward slash three zero. The number is three zero m i n, and that will redirect you to the thirty minute web commercials training course. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get directly into today's interview with Ali G and talk about his amazing software. So let's do it. All right. So Peter Beatty here with another uh, Video Evolver podcast. And today we've got something a little uh, bit different. Uh, I've got Ali G as our guest today, and he's uh, coming out with some new um, software that will actually go through Facebook and um, s do a bunch of cool stuff, scrape uh, scrape leads and stuff like that. I'm gonna let him explain it because uh, um, you know it's some it's what he it's his software, so I'm gonna leave that up to him. But uh, why don't you just uh, start off by um, introducing yourself to everyone and um, how you got started in uh, internet marketing and creating software like this new one you got. Yeah, absolutely, Peter. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much for having me uh, on this call on your podcast. And uh, yeah, getting uh, just a little brief intro about me. Uh, I'm based out of New York. I uh, I used to be in the financial sector. Um, you know, a very very drastic change from where I came from. I used to be a banker. Then I became a trader. And then uh, I realized that the internet marketing world uh, really like the sky's the limit. It's a lot less stress. 
uh, than being at a hedge fund where you're looking at tickers uh, every second. Uh, so, you know, it, uh, it was definitely very welcoming. Uh, I got into software. I got a team of software developers. I've been launching software since last year uh, heavily. And uh, today, uh, well, actually coming out soon is uh, my next software, which is built on Adobe Air, which makes it very, uh, very cool because it's multi-platform. And, uh, and the thing is that it is a Facebook scraper and also a Google Plus scraper, which I can say that I've never seen before. Um, and also, it, uh, it, it's, uh, it has so many different features as far as like all the niches you can go for. And I know you're big into video, Peter, but uh, you know, um, uh, with, uh, with, with Social Lead Freak, which I'm launching, uh, you can just type in keywords like need video services or uh, need, uh, you know, video marketing, uh, you know, uh, services. You can type that in and, and, yeah. and, and you know, everybody uses Facebook. You know, Facebook is one of the uh, most commonly used. You know, I mean, I see people on their phones just checking their Facebook like every yeah. few minutes just because it's like an OCD of theirs. Yeah, you know? yeah. I've, yeah exactly. <laughs> it's just terrible. <laughs> yeah. So this is the type of society we're living in where, where everybody kind of has ADD of sorts. But uh, the ADD, you can, you can actually now make money off your ADD. Uh, you can actually just, you know, instead of being on Facebook and loitering and, 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 and wasting time, now you can be on Facebook and actually using it to make money. Uh, just to give you an example, the other day I just typed in, you know, for my offline business, I just typed in, you know, need website. And in a matter of five minutes, I, I basically got, you know, well over 15 leads of people needing website as of a few minutes ago. So okay. these are fresh leads. You call them up, you're like their savior. Yeah. You know? So, so, what, so what do you mean when you type when you type like need website or need video, what is what is the scraper actually picking up? Like a conversation or something like that that, that person yeah. had on Facebook? Exactly. Yeah. It searches all the posts that uh, that are part of your network and also that are publicly available that are not even part of your network. You know how like when you when you make a post on Facebook, you have the ability to make it a public uh, yes. post, right? So the thing is that with that, it opens you up to that. That's a given. The public posts are a given. But then you, you're, you're already logged into your Facebook. Uh, I'm a Facebook developer, so I actually have a Facebook application in place. So, um, so because of that reason, you actually can comb through your entire uh, established network, friends of friends, uh, going through different privacy settings because you know how everybody has different privacy settings set up, like whether or not yeah. they want to see anything from you or they want to see everything from you, right? Right. So, so it, it goes through the whole thing and, and uh, I'm happy to say it's uh, very unique and very, uh, it, it's results driven. Okay. So I want to talk a little bit about like how people could actually put this to use because like a lot of people listening to this podcast are going to be, you know, video marketers, local marketers, that kind of thing. And obviously I can see the potential right now for, for local marketers, especially someone who offers video marketing as a service, they could just go in there and type, you know, uh, need video, for, for example, or need marketing help or whatever. Um, so I can see the potential there. But uh, what would someone, what would be the next step that someone would take when they, you know, what does your software do? Does it give them a list of, of potential leads to follow up with? or And how can those okay. people follow up with them? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, say you type in your keywords, and then you're going to get you're going to get every post that's associated with that. You'll probably get thousands of posts. But the cool thing is that you can, or you can arrange them in every type of filter that you'd like, uh, whether it be date filter, uh, so date and time filter. So the, so the most recent posts are obviously the, probably the hottest, right? Because uh, most likely nobody's, nobody's hit them up yet because they, they were just like probably griping on Facebook like, oh, I need, a, what? I need this, I need video services, I need that. Yeah. So or even now, if they're complaining so, about the, I was gonna, I was gonna say even if they're complaining about their current web designer or something like that, that'd be a good opportunity to jump in there. Exactly, exactly, because all of a sudden now, now they know that somebody's actually listening to them and actually paying attention to their uh, thoughts um, as, as regarding their business. And most people consider their business one of their one of their most you know uh, most rewarding things in their lives. So when all of a sudden you show them the attention to their business and you're providing a product or service. And I know you're really big into video and all the things you do. I mean, you would just come across as a savior yeah. uh, to them. And and, and 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 the thing is, like, you know, you open up the business, and the best thing is, is that uh, in the business we're in, it's all about referrals. Um, I get a lot of referral business. You just you just help out one person the right way, yeah, and a, you know, they know three, 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 What was that? I was gonna say it's like a snowball effect. Basically, exactly. most people don't realize that is you know once you get that those first few people, you know, good word spreads pretty quickly. 
Exactly, exactly. And being up in Maine where you are, you know all about snowballs. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit too much. I'm starting to go away, though. Right, right. Spring does show. Yeah. Okay, so um, so you mentioned this thing was built on Adobe Air. You know, personally, I don't, I've heard of it. I don't really know too much about what that means. What does that actually mean for the people listening? You know, what, what how does that benefit them? What? Yeah, Adobe Air is, um, I mean, I, I personally am surprised that not many people are, are uh, utilizing this um, platform, which, you know, because everybody uses different types of computers. I mean, I know that even my own company, uh, my own, my own staff has like Apple Mac, you know, Apple uh, laptops, Apple yeah. computers. I personally use because I come from the business world. I've always been using you know PCs as they've always been like you know big on business. Uh, so it's really great that Adobe Air applications are installed without a problem on any platform, any system. You won't have any issues. Uh, so it has mass appeal written all over it because you don't have to worry about oh, will this work for my system? Okay. So basically it's a cross, it's a, it's a way for you to, it's a platform to build your software upon that would allow pretty much anyone to use it on any system, pretty much. Exactly, exactly. And I've been spending the last couple months uh, developing this, uh, the framework for Adobe Air. And uh, I'm happy to say that now that it's in place, um, you know, I'll be, I'll be running with this because it, the hardest thing was to actually put the framework in place. And now that it's, in, now that it's there, you know, I, I see that, uh, Adobe Air is something that I'm highly uh, going to be focusing on because of that mass appeal factor. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, how, how, really, just before we go ahead and, and end this, I know I, I know we wanted to keep this pretty quick because I'm sure you're busy getting ready for the launch. Um, wh what is the name of the product again? We, we called it Frankenstein when we talked. <laughs> what is the actual name? Yes. Yes. Uh, I've been calling it Frankenstein for a few months because it's such a freak of nature, you know, because of uh, all the things that are going on with it. Yeah. Uh, um, you know, I, I started with one idea. And then I was like, you know something, you know, going back to the snowball effect, I was like, let's throw this, let's throw this in there, let's do this. And then it became like this monster. And now I actually, I finally came up with a name and I think it actually applies perfectly. It's called Social Lead Freak. Social Lead Freak, okay. Yeah, I'm actually going to put together um, some type of bonus offer. I'm not really sure yet for those listening to the podcast. So if anyone wants to check it out, um, we're actually recording this podcast obviously before you, you released it. And it's it's uh, going live, what, the 22nd? Yeah, exactly. The 22nd Monday um, at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay. Yeah, and uh, and yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be, uh, I mean, aside from just the lead aspect, I mean, a lot of people don't understand that, you know, the reason why I've been calling it Frankenstein is because uh, you have uh, something uh, in there which is called uh, Member ID Extract. Now, I know you're big into video, but say, uh, say you go to a group that's big on video marketing, okay? On Facebook, there's a group, uh, uh, oh, Video Marketing Anonymous or Video Marketing uh, is what we do, or whatever the group is. Yeah. You know that people that are part of a group are usually uh, pretty um, all about the subject or passionate about the subject, right? right? Uh, the same thing goes for events. Events are people that are attending uh, an event, so they're taking the time out of their life to attend an event. You know that that matters to them. Right. Right. So the coolest thing about one of the coolest things about I mean, there's many other features too, but you can do one click member ID extracts from the groups and the events. And if anybody knows about anything about Facebook ad campaigns, you know that when you when you're running a Facebook ad campaign, you have the ability to create what are called social groups. Yep. And these social groups are what you would be marketing, whatever it is, whatever product or service you have. So if I were, you know, in, in your shoes, I'd be going to every video group, every video related event, extracting member IDs and pushing out a product or service to them in a Facebook ad campaign is getting dollar for dollar back, if not more. Yeah. So and that's the whole that's the whole objective because you want to be profitable in your business. You're not wasting money. You're not you're not sending uh, advertisements to people that really don't care about it. Right. You know, so these are people that are, are going to act on it. So what do you mean by, can you explain a little bit more about um, what, when you actually get these social groups, how do, you're talking about getting them into the actual uh, Facebook ad platform, mm -hmm. getting specifically ads to them through the Facebook platform? Yeah, because Facebook, uh, Facebook ad campaigns, it lets you, uh, lets you individually add member IDs to a, to a social group that you're going to be marketing a specific product or service to via Facebook ad campaigns. So you can have a video related group, have all these video, uh, uh, these video groups and extract the member IDs, whether they be, whether they be 50 members yep. or whether 5,000 members, you extract all of it. You can add it all to your Facebook ad campaign because it allows it. 
So basically, you're you're cherry picking your audience. Yeah. And and I know that uh, Google AdWords is a big thing, but Facebook um, uh, Facebook ads is really growing in popularity and the and the effectiveness. Yeah. And, and people are realizing. Yeah, I know a lot of people who are using it for for uh, for for local stuff too. Um, my friend, my friend Jamie's had some amazing results with his local uh, website service that he offers, and I've been I've been meaning to get into it myself, so I might look into into that myself. Yeah, it's really really great. I mean, I know I know you you have so many uh, video related products and services, uh, Peter, and and the thing is that you know with you especially because you can basically market to a video related audience. Um, and not only that, you also have on the Google Plus side of things, you have the SEO data, whether they're the plus ones or the reshares. And that information is extremely important when you're creating your Google authorship. Now, I know that's not related to video. It's more about SEO. But I think SEO uh, in our business pertains to everybody because you want your site ranked. Right. Yeah. It doesn't matter what you do. Yeah. SEO yeah. Is yeah. Exactly, and so that that's one aspect. And another thing is that it also has a mobile number search, which means that you can type in a mobile number, and you will get the uh, you will get the profile associated with that mobile number. So so even if you have a list of mobile numbers or or phone numbers, because most people have mobile mobile numbers as their main number these days. Yeah. And and for that reason, I think that you, if you can pull up all their information, see what they're about, you could technically market to them. In, a, in, a, in an intelligent uh, way where it would be very effective. Yeah. So you're saying if someone had a list of, obtained a list of numbers somehow, you know, whatever, whatever means, they yeah. can put this into the software and generate the list of all their Facebook profiles and, and contact them through that. Exactly. I'm trying, I'm trying exactly. To, okay, cool. Yeah, so, and, and then that's, that's another thing. And then also, the cool thing is that this whole platform is WYSIWYG, meaning that, meaning that what you see is what you get. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you heard the term WYSIWYG. If, if anyone here on the call has not heard of it, that's what it means. Um, and uh, WYSIWYG, so if you're, you're filtering all the information, you're organizing it, and then you can export the data from, from the Google Plus side and also the Facebook side uh, all in one click, and it will it'll make it a CSV file and have it organized the way that you have it. Uh, filtered, so you can basically hand it, hand it, hand the hand the sheets of leads to your sales guys. Say, hey, go to town. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Well, awesome. I'm really excited to see how this goes for you, and I can't wait to see you know what people actually do with this thing. Um, it sounds pr pretty cool to me. I gotta admit, it's a little bit over my head, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try to learn about it myself, and um, I'm definitely gonna. Um, uh, support this when you when you release it and um, awesome. I'm going to set up a, a page um, I'm going to do uh, videorevolver.com forward slash Frankenstein <laughs> anyone, anyone listening to this um, wants to check it out so you're going to go you're going to go with my code name instead of my <laughs> instead of the product name yeah, it, it sounds cool <laughs> um, yeah if there's anything else you'd like to add I, I guess we can we can uh, go ahead and leave it at that and like tell everyone that um, like I said it's coming out and and obviously to check it out if they're doing anything doing anything that involves getting getting leads which is pretty much anybody so um, yeah. if you want to add anything feel free oh yeah no, I mean I, I think we covered all the bases uh, the only thing I you know if, if you have Peter I know I really appreciate uh, that you're you're you know supporting and if there's any questions and if there's any way I can uh, you know, help you with your own customers, just let me know. I'm glad to help you. Cool. All right. Well, I'm sure everyone would appreciate that. Thanks for coming on and uh, thanks for your time and good luck Thank with the launch. Get... Thank you for having me and uh, glad to be on your podcast. All right. Talk to you later. Take care. If you like this video, you should visit my website and subscribe for free email updates to make sure you don't miss anything else like this that I release. Sometimes I post private videos on my website and for my email subscribers only. So go ahead and click the button right here to go to my website, enter your best email in the box, and click the subscribe button. And when I got something cool to share with you, I'll email it right to your inbox. So until next time, I'm Peter Beattie with VideoRevolver.com, and I will talk to you soon.